A hearing set for today was postponed in a court case dealing with the fight against ISIS and your privacy. Now, with the Brussels attacks now in the spotlight, the case could make it easier for police to keep tabs on terrorists, but it comes with a catch. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains how Apple is taking on the Justice Department. Tom? Yeah, that's right, guys. This case all revolves around the iPhone of the San Bernardino shooter. Investigators can't get past the password screen. They've entered multiple wrong sequences that can't get them past the screen. They're asking for Apple's help, but Apple says the case could lead to bigger problems. Four months after the San Bernardino shootings, investigators still can't crack the code to get into one of the suspect's phones. Former FBI Special Agent Jeff Lanza says the phone could provide vital clues into the inner workings of ISIS. Someone's committed a ter terrorist act and has killed people. It's important that that information is available to law enforcement. Investigators are asking Apple for help. Apple isn't budging. Attorney David Langston says it's partly a business decision. The security of the iPhone is one of the selling features. And so they feel like they shouldn't be betraying the confidence of their customers. Data on the suspect's iPhone could be erased if investigators enter the wrong password multiple times. Now they want Apple to give them backdoor access to the phone. And I think if they developed a program for this one phone, for this one application, then uh, it wouldn't create a worldwide problem in security. But Apple says overriding an iPhone could provide hackers or foreign countries a way to bypass phone security. Langston says if the Justice Department prevails, it could affect cases in the metro. Once it becomes the law of the land, then it would be used in Olathe, Kansas City, anywhere in the United States, where law enforcement says we need to get into that phone. The case could end up in the Supreme Court, and Langston says the attacks in Belgium could impact the case. Because of what happened in Brussels, um, the need to protect ourselves ultimately, I think, will outweigh our need to be private. Today's hearing was postponed because the Justice Department said it had a third party that could possibly get into the phone. Investigators will provide an update on those efforts in a few weeks.